Hi guys, in this video let's see how to use SSIS package to execute SQL command and BCP command scripts for data exports. So in SSIS toolbox, under common we have execute process task. So this is a control flow task that we use to execute external process related tasks. So let's drag that to the package designer. And let's see how to configure this process task for SQL command and BCP command scripts execution. So double click on the process task and go to process and so the key properties here are executable arguments and working directory. So executable is the path we have to select that is dot exe file of our sql command or bcp command so to know the exact location of these commands path let's go to windows search bar and search for sql command and right click on the command and open file location so it will show exact path where the sql command and bcp command are installed in your pc so let's copy this path and go here and enter here and enter and open. So it shows you the command .exe files. So I want to select SQL command. So I want to configure execute process task for the SQL command. So I've selected that and click open. So it's mapped to the executable now, right? So arguments. Arguments is the script of that we prepared for SQL command or any executable or BCP command, right? So let's go to our script that we prepared in the last session. So I'm configuring it for SQL command. Let's open SQL command related script and copy the first script and paste it in the argument section. So next go to working directory and just copy any directory, executable directory path here. You can copy the long path or subfolder path or main path, whichever you want. So, and yes, we are done. Let's click on OK and right click on this control flow task and click execute. So it executes only the control flow task. So no need to click on the package execution. No need to execute package because that executes all the tasks that we have in the package. Just execute the execute process task, control flow task. So it's executed successfully, right? Let's go to progress and see what status it's giving. So 100% execution. So if you observe, executing with SQL command doesn't give the row count and all that level of details in the progress bar. So that means it doesn't track all those details in the SSIS package. There are other ways to capture that. So now let's go to the file and validate. So this is the file that it has generated. Double click on that. So see, so data is as expected, right? Yeah. Let's close it and go to here. And now let's configure the same for BCB command. So before going to BCP command, I'm going to save these paths in my notepad for future reference. So the arguments command is this, so no need to save that. Okay, I'm done. So let's save it and close this SQL command. So if you want to test this for the second extract query as well, then just open the SQL command again and copy the second argument query, which is prepared, which was prepared for second report and paste that in the argument section. 
so this is the second reports query so let's click on ok and execute the process task executed successfully now go to file yeah so here is the file double click on that to validate it's so executed successfully and uh, data is as expected right so let's close it and go to package again so we are done with the SQL command configuration now let's see how to configure it for PCP command so now let's go to BCP command script and go to package open execute process task and go to process and map the BCP command related path here I'm selecting bcp.exe and click open and working directory is same and arguments are different for BCP command right so no need to uh, give the BCP here so let's remove the BCP and BCP because we are executing that using SSIS package BCP process task so let's copy this command and paste it in the argument section now click OK and execute executed successfully we go to process it is also showing the same and stop it go to data extracts and you see the one the file has been generated and the data is as expected right so let's close it and go to package and open and let's save the paths that we have saved here and then test for the second extract as well click OK then execute done stop it and go to data extracts so and this is the file it has generated open it so is as expected close it and go to package so now we are done with the SQL command and BCP command executions using SSIS package